Hi, my name is Sam Grapis. I'm an Information Science PhD candidate at Drexel's College of Computing and Informatics. My primary, area, my primary research is centered on knowledge organization systems, and particularly historical knowledge organization systems, um, as well as topical relevance and automated subject representation for digital humanities resources. I first became involved with LEADS as a fellow in the first cohort in 2018. And subsequently, I have been very fortunate to have the opportunity to continue my involvement as project manager for the LEADS program throughout 2019 and for the 2020 summer extension opportunity. My virtual fellowship project placement was at Temple University Library's Digital Scholarship Center, which is now part of the Loretta C. Duckworth Scholar Studio. I worked with Peter Logan, who was the director of the Digital Scholarship Center, as well as a professor of English. And I was particularly thrilled to take part in his 19th century knowledge project um, because I do have a more humanistic educational background. And so the data science challenges that this project presented were just infinitely more interesting to me. Um, and as someone with a humanities undergraduate degree and a master's of library and information science, I entered Drexel's information science doctoral program with very limited exposure to um, data science skills um, and techniques. So, and that can be kind of intimidating <laughs> when you're surrounded by people with, you know, a, a math degree or a computer science degree that they, they're coming into this program with. Um, so what I appreciate most about the LEADS program is that it goes beyond just a one-time data science boot camp, um, after which you may or may not retain much of the material because you don't have to apply it in your everyday work. Um, well, LEADS goes beyond that, and it provides you an immersive experience to apply and grow these skills. Um, with the help and the expertise of the fantastic Drexel faculty who are involved, um, as well as the project mentors. So, you know, this experience was very complementary to my doctoral work by helping to build upon what I was, um, what I was already learning. And, um, you know, I, I enjoy my Leeds experience and collaboration with Temple so much that the research has actually shaped my dissertation proposal which builds upon that fellowship work. So I am just extremely grateful um, to have had this opportunity. And it's really hard to understate the uh, professional growth opportunities that, that LEADS presents. Um, it's just a fantastic experience to support collaboration and to, to build networks between research communities and between individual researchers. Um, I mean, I made connections to other information professionals um, and PhD students from all over the country, you know, from Washington State to Montana to Texas to Wisconsin to New York, I mean, really all over the country. Um, so that just has just been very good for, um, for building networks. And um, Lee's also provides the opportunity to develop research outputs. Um, I was very fortunate. I was able to develop several research outputs uh, from my involvement with Leeds, which includes journal publications and submissions, um, two conference presentations, including presenting internationally at the Digital Humanities Conference in Utrecht, and I was also able to give several more informal presentations at Temple University Libraries and for a class of Drexel CCI master's students, which I think really helped them to see, you know, what's the potential in terms of doing research in the field um, beyond their, their master's degree. So summing up, the, the LEADS program was just such a great opportunity for me, and um, I really look forward to seeing the continued success of LEADS through its next iteration, which is the leading program which will extend to early to mid-career LIS professionals as well, which, I, which is just going to be fantastic. Um, I'm very excited about the LEADING program because it really demonstrates the impact and the su sustainability of the LEADS model through its continued collaboration from both mentors and other participants. You know, we have um, one fellow from the 2018 LEADS cohort who will now serve as a project mentor um, for, at, the at, at the University of no North Texas for the LEADING program. So it's very exciting to see this continued collaboration from participants. And I'd like to end by extending my thanks to Dr. Jane Greenberg and the rest of the Drexel Leeds team for their continued support and for granting me the opportunity to be involved with Leeds both as a fellow and as a project manager. Thank you.